バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G ・カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょうではこのレッスンの方法について説明しますまずは DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてくださいそうしたら DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください次に英語のテキストだけを読んでください英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください。最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください。以上のステップを繰り返すことで、英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです。今回は、Language and Ensembles 001 SNS 英語術 on NHK eTele My Wardrobe for our April 5th April Fools episode の英語のテキストを朗読します。April Fools Day について、そしてバカとアホの違いとそれに該当する英語を紹介しています。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One, learning to enjoy foolishness. The theme for the first episode of the new season was hashtag April Fools. We featured many April Fools' Day tweets and talked about how the day is celebrated by telling lies, crafting hoaxes, and pulling pranks. Itazura or Itazura in Japanese. Footnote one. About the difference between Itazura and Itazura. Currently, Itazura is the standard smelling. But up until November 15th, 1946, Itazura was the norm. The former is modern kana spelling, gendai teki kana zukai, and the latter is historical kana spelling, rekishi teki kana zukai. The shift occurred in post war Japan when, under the occupation policies pursued by GHQ, the report of the United States Education Mission to Japan recommended that spelling be standardized and simplified. Also, Itazura has two phonetic spellings using kanji, Itazura and Itazura. The former combines the characters for bad and play and is often translated as prank or mischief. The latter means pointlessly or aimlessly, and perhaps the best example of the character being used is in the title of the 14th century Japanese collection of essays, Turezuregusa. The late Donald Keen sensei translated the title as Essays in Idleness. Side note, the Japanese word seito, student, does not mean to live idly. Rather, se in this context means inexperienced and still learning, while to means colleague or pupil. In high school, I would ask classmates if they wanted some Japanese candy and then place an umeboshi, Japanese salt plum, in their hands. My unsuspecting friends would pop the umeboshi into their mouths and pause for a split second. Before the color drained from their faces. The prank took advantage of the fact that I would regularly bring Japanese sweets to school, which my friends quickly learned were unusual looking but very tasty. One classic April Fool's Day prank is for all the students in a classroom to turn their desks around 180 degrees to face the back of the class before the unsuspecting teacher walks in. Another prank my generation, the first real digital generation, Like to pull, was to quietly slip a USB receiver into the teacher's computer and then move the mouse cursor around during class. 
However, in recent years, more and more people seem to be voicing the opinion that the day should be scrapped. Their disillusion is understandable. Pranks and jokes often don't go over well as digital text, as the recipient has no facial or vocal cues from which to infer nuance or tone. Even if the sender meant it as a joke, we now live in a world where meaning well is, well, meaningless. Plus, with social media, lies and hoaxes can quickly spin out of control before you know it. What's more, people these days seem to have little respect for the spirit of April Fools. Instead of trying to pull off light-hearted pranks that are usually not at the expense of another, people mistake the day as giving them permission to prank away without consequence or concern for the feelings of the pranked. April Fool's Day is also celebrated to an extent in Japan, where it's sometimes called Shigatsubaka, literally April Fool's. Baka, of course, can be translated a number of ways. The most common is stupid, a word that refers to a lack of intelligence or common sense that people are born with. Then there's silly, which has connotations of absurd or boneheaded or immature. There's also fool, which refers not to intelligence, but the lack of an ability to make good decisions, judgments, and considerations. If someone tells you don't be stupid, they're suggesting you're not using your brain. Don't be silly is another way of saying no way or stop messing around. Don't be foolish is a way of suggesting that someone knows better and needs to be exercising better judgment. In terms of linguistic differences between different Japanese regions, in the Kanto region, baka often means silly or foolish, while aho is closer to stupid. Meanwhile, to people in the Kansai region, baka sounds like stupid, while aho sounds like silly or foolish. Asterisk. About the difference between baka and aho. Baka is the more commonly used term in the Kanto region, while aho is the more commonly used term in the Kansai region. In the Kanto region, baka has less aggressive connotations, while the less commonly used aho comes across like a strong insult. Conversely, in the Kansai region, aho has less aggressive connotations, while the less commonly used baka sounds like you're trying to start something. Meanwhile, in Aichi Prefecture, especially in the Oari region, based around the central city of Nagoya, older generations are probably more familiar with the term take. Side note, my mother, who is from the Mikawa region of Aichi, would use baka. Ideally, April Fools is not just about making someone look foolish. Instead, it's about fooling someone so brilliantly that the victim is able to laugh at him or herself. In other words, both the prankster and the fool need to have a generosity of spirit and a sense of humor. The more elaborate and well thought out a prank is, the more the victim will have no choice but to acknowledge the effort. Me, on the other hand, back when I was a kid, I'd get furious or dejected after falling victim to a prank, and people would inevitably tell me to lighten up. In America, there's another word for people who are so serious or honest to the point of being foolish, a wet blanket. The essence of American humor is to enjoy being foolish. Although the current state of affairs in the U.S. is anything but laughable, Americans don't like to stew in darkness. 2. This Week's Wardrobe Linen Shirt by Paul Stewart For this first episode of the new season, I dressed up like a spring cherry blossom. This dark pink linen shirt is from Paul Stewart Aoyama, 29,000 yen plus tax. I went around a number of different stores looking for items to bring more color to my wardrobe, and even considered having a linen shirt custom made. But then I came across this one. Although it's off the rack, the fit on me is fantastic. Although a little on the pricey side, the materials and sewing are top-notch, the color refined, and the linen fabric doesn't have that distinctive coarseness. Pink Candy Stripe Jacket by Azabu Taylor Red Corduroy Pants by Brooks Brothers Pink Socks by Tabio Poe Double Monk Shoes by Paraboot Black Glasses by Zoff 3. Notes from my stylist Scarlett on this ensemble. For the first episode of the 2019 season, 
featuring a new host, Ryoga Haruhi, I decided to put together a festive ensemble. The centerpiece was the shirt made with fine Italian linen that we got at Paul Stewart's flagship among Omote Sando. In terms of fashion theory, shirts are usually chosen in a lighter color than the jacket, but I decided to go against custom and frame the shirt as beautifully as possible using a light pink jacket. And usually I would choose gray or beige trousers for this ensemble, but I decided to go with something that better complemented the jacket. For the socks, too, I decided we should go with a pink to balance out the jacket. The radiant floral look is created by making the central shirt and trousers darkish pinkish red, and making the jacket on top and socks on bottom pink. Asterisk. Ryoga Haruhi is an actress and entertainer from the city of Nagoya in Aichi Prefecture. She started at Takarazuka Music School in 1994 and entered the all female Takarazuka Review in 1996, where she made her breakthrough as an otokoyaku, playing male roles. She left the review in 2009 and has since been active as an actress, appearing in TV dramas, variety shows, and television commercials. Ijo, Language and Ensemble 001, SNS Egojitsu on NHK E Tele, My Wardrobe for Our April 5th April Fools episode. No Ego Tekisto Rodok Shimashita. Ikaga de Shaka? Stupid, silly, foolish, no Chigai ni Tsuite Kaisetsu Shimashita. Sore sore no nuance no Chigai ni Chui Shite Mite Kudasai. Kono content ga kini itta ra, YouTube no kono doga no midi shite ni aru botan kara, channel to look o zehi okonat te kudasai. テキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから、ディグ東京の公式アカウントに入り、フォローしてください。ご意見、ご要望がありましたら、YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください。www.digtokyo.jp